In this video, we will learn about error handling, how we can perform error handling in Power Query. For this, we need to prepare one small data set. So we have to click here, enter data. The name of the column will be, the first column will be product, product name. And the second is the quantity. And the third one is the price or the unit price. And then the name of the product is like uh, product one. And product four. Right. So here is the quantity is like two, three, four. And uh, for this, we don't have anything. So you can write here NA. And uh, for the unit price is like here is 45, 67, and 80, right? So here you can name this table like products. So this is the table load so data is there so we know we can go to the power query editor by just clicking the transform data and here if we try to add new column here custom column and uh, here you can write total sales then we need to take quantity multiply by unit price That's it. So let's click OK. So here you can see we are getting error message. Like uh, we cannot apply error uh, static to the type text and number. The price is fine. The unit price is OK because the data type is number. And uh, we have problem here in the quantity column due to NA. Right. So one option is we need to convert this uh, text data type to number here, whole number. And uh, let's delete this added column. So now let's try to add a custom column here. And uh, this time we don't need to change any name. Let's try to see if it works or not. Quantity multiply by unit price click OK and here you can see we are getting results for the for the first uh, three product but again we are getting error message here right that uh, the data format error we couldn't convert to number so it is not possible to convert NA uh, this NA to uh, to the numeric value so what we can do is the first option is we can remove this row and uh, we can go to click on the home tab and then we can remove this row or you can write here remove error so the the row that contains error message is being removed but if we want to show the product for but with some suitable message or value we just need to click here removed error so we have to use uh, one function so that we can uh, recalculate so we have to add new column here and uh, the name will be new like uh, modified quantity and here we have to use try quantity if it doesn't produce any error then give me the quantity otherwise zero that's it so here you can see we are getting the new column with the modified quantity 
and uh, now let's try to put one more custom column here and the name is total sales and here we have to use modify quantity multiply by unit price that's it so here you can see we are getting total sale 24135268 and so on so this is how we can do error handling in power query with the help of try and uh, otherwise so if you like this video please subscribe our channel thank you